You told me, you was the one that told me that you wanted to be celibate. I was just supporting you. So it was his choice? You go and sleep with the next girl after you said that you wanted to be celibate. So all this stuff, like, I'm just confused. Wait, just hold on, like, wait, oh, hold on. Like, this, wait, 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 wait. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Young ODL, a.k.a. Young Laz. And today I'm coming with another reaction video. First off, I want to thank all my new subscribers and all the old subscribers who've been continuing to support and look at the matter of fact, fuck all that. Uh, today we got a reaction video, man. Um, I randomly typed in "caught cheating" and I seen this video. It's, the video is titled "My boyfriend cheated and got another girl pregnant." Now, don't you hate that? Now, don't you hate when a nigga cheat on you? But then. To add insult to injury, he done got the heifer pregnant. Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. So today I'm going to be coming to you with a story time. As you guys can tell by the title of how my ex-boyfriend cheated on me mad times. And my ex- Say Kim, go sit down. Sit down on your, on your makeshift toilet. Go sit down. Sit down. And don't move. I'm trying to watch the video. See, you, you already- I ain't mad at you. I ain't even mad at you. You know what? I love you. I ain't mad at you. I'm telling you. You tell you gonna snitch on me? Sit your ass, sit down. All right, we gonna start the video over, man. <clears throat> so she said her ex-boyfriend cheated on her. Of course, that's why he her ex. See you with the story time. Uh-huh. As you guys can tell by the title of how my ex-boyfriend cheated on me mad times. And mad ex, times. I'm gonna name him Kevin, cause I'm not about to put his name out there. I dated for mad long. I wanna say to like, <laughs> 2015 to like 2019. First time you. I Talking about, did she say 2015 I, to 2019? Is that like y'all relationship in dog years? That ain't long. That's baby bumba. Hey, sir, sit down. Sit down. Shush. Um, four years isn't that long, son. I'm gonna just throw that out there. Me and my me and my wife been together about 15 years now. I mean, we did break up. I don't even feel like getting into that. But four years isn't that long. I used to go away to school. And so, like, I was at school and he was back at home. And I would come home on the weekends, you know, chill. Sometimes I wouldn't even tell my mother that I was coming home. I would just stay the weekend with him. I never, like, me, when it comes to guys and their phones, I don't go through their phones. Because I just feel like everybody you go deserves looking their own for, privacy, You go looking for dead bodies, you're going to find something. And you might find old stuff. I'm going to get mad over it mm -hmm. no matter how old it is. Mm -hmm. like, you just don't want to see this person that you like have stuff in their phone that they don't Mind need your to business. have anymore. So I feel like there's always something you could find to be mad about, so I don't go through their phone. So... When we would spend time, you you want to be on camera so bad. Look at you. You want to be you, you want to be on camera so bad. Time together. No, I you're think on he's phone. Like he never got notifications on his home screen. This is why I know. This is why I be knowing y'all tricks now because he never had notifications. Nigga turned the on notifications. Like, he would be on Instagram sometimes, but like you know, his phone was on Do Not Disturb when we was together. I peeped it, but like I, I just thought I didn't think nothing of it honestly. So one day we go to his friend's house or whatever he gets out the car i think he like goes to pick up something from him i'm in the car he leaves his phone on the little armrest thing i'm like you tempted i'm like i don't want to go through it because you tempted i don't want to find something i want to see but then again like i felt like something was off now let me tell you what happened prior to me coming home that weekend oh no this is after you know i didn't go first off yo if you dating and you go to college if y'all go to separate schools, it's going down. Either you gonna cheat, or he gonna cheat. Or if you a dude, she gonna cheat, or you gonna cheat. First, and y'all young. You feel me? Especially you going to college, y'all just getting out your parents' house and shit. Nigga, you don't want to be locked locked down. You already coming from 18 years of being locked down at your parents' crib. Yeah, man. I ain't saying it's right, but it's bound to happen through his phone but me I just slid down the notification bar and I see two names I see we're gonna say Kim and another girl he should have changed the names so I don't think I said anything but like my vibe was off I, I was just silent I didn't see nothing he's asking me what's wrong blah blah, blah. so then we get back to his house and I'm like um I'm like 
who's Kim and the, the other girl. The, the sad girl bitch. Kim. The other girl was Kim's friend. So I'm like, who's Kim? Blah, blah, blah. He's like, oh, that's just my friend. I'm like, how's that your friend? He's like, we watching basketball together. All this stuff. Like, we're cool. Like, so how come I never heard of her? Like, you never told me about her. He was just like, oh, that's just my friend. Blah, blah, blah. We only watch that's basketball. That's just my friend. Too. Okay, like. Maybe it's like some dyke bitch or something. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, hey, you could have fooled me. Dyke that was bitch. What that mean? So, hey. Um, Folks, I was out here trying to take the dykes down, too. You feel what I'm saying? I was down here trying to take the dykes down, too. I had this one joint, this one dyke friend. Hold on. Shh. Listen. I had this one dyke friend, right? She had the wagon. She had the fluff. And she used to have the audacity to, to, to sag around me. Don't come sagging around me. At the end of the day, you you still get your period. That that didn't sound right. That didn't come. That came off kind of wrong. It came off kind of harsh. But I'm just saying how I was thinking, son. We was playing ball. She 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 she, she put me in a post. Yeah, put me in a post. I'm trying to put you on a poster. I go back to school and I end up telling my friends, I'm like, yeah, like, it just doesn't make sense to me, but I trust, like, at the time I trusted him, so I was taking his word for it. They make a big deal out of it. So then they're like, no, that doesn't make any sense. Like, you need to get to the bottom of this. So he's just like, still claiming that's his friend. So the girl follows me on Instagram, right? And I follow her back because I'm like, oh, okay, like maybe she messy wants to be friends. Like, she messy. Friends. Like me being dumb, like you know, there's no, like there's no problem. I'm gonna follow you back. Maybe we can interact on social media, whatever. After I had told my friends that she followed me, they're like, it still doesn't make sense. Like, did you ask him? Blah, blah. So now I call him and I start pressing him. And I was like, why did, like, why did she follow me on Instagram? He's like, she followed you on Instagram. I'm like, yeah. Like, nigga, like, now, now you just made, you just gave yourself up. I press him, like, I'm like, who is this? I'm like, did you sleep with her? He Yo, was like, messy yeah. bitch is always so gonna I'm get like, you clutch, huh? Damn, like, I guess he was, like, over me, like, nagging him over the past couple days that went by, like, me bringing it, bringing it back up, just because it just doesn't sit well in my head, like, I need to get to the bottom of it. So I guess, like, after the couple days, he was just, like, fed up and was just like, yeah. So I'm like, did you sleep with her? Blah, blah, like... You got me out here looking stupid. Like, I follow this bitch back on Instagram saying all this stuff. He's like, yeah, like, he slept with her, blah, blah, blah. So, I believe we broke up. And I felt like she disrespected me because I didn't have no beef with her. Like, I didn't even know her. I didn't have any mutual friends with her. Like, I didn't have no beef. But then she went on the little fin Finsta page, Instagram page, and started talking shit about me and all this stuff. Like, she Bro, just started side crazy, chicks you know? always like, be doing this, the this most, bro. This has nothing to bro. do with me. This has something to, all to do with him. That's your Like, problem. play your position. With that. So that was the first time. So now we got trust issues. I ended up coming home from school. Like, coming home for good. And I started school back in New York. And... Like, we would always break up and oh, she we would break city. up, take breaks, whatever. So, for the longest, like, we was taking a break. And um, one day he was coming to my house and I had called him before he was about to pull up. He was stopping at like, a restaurant or whatever. I had called him to tell him, like, there was something exciting to tell him. Like, I had something that I was excited about. Like, you know when you had something excited about? He ain't about? picked the phone up. That one person, that's what that was. So, he's like mad disrespectful on the phone he's like i'ma call you he's like no i think he was like i'ma call you back or or something like that but like in the midst of him saying i'ma call you back i'm telling him to pick something up from the store so like he hangs up he comes to my house and i'm like i didn't have no like animosity or like i wasn't angry i was just like whatever i brushed it off my shoulder like i'm not excited to tell you anymore but it's whatever he yeah. comes to my room he's like don't don't you don't you ever do that again or some, sh some shit like I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, if I say I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna call you back. I'm gonna call you back. Don't blah blah. Like, mad stuff. Oh, had nah. a big ass attitude. I'm like, who are you talking to? Fix your attitude, cause you're not talking to me. That's exactly what my response was. Like, who are you talking he to? He don't respect you. Like you. He don't respect you, sis. You feel me? He already got away with cheating on you once, and you took him back. So shit, nigga. He in control. He he definitely wearing the pants. I mean, he's supposed to be wearing the pants. I'm trying to figure out. He got... All right, let me... I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. I, I can't find an analogy for it. But, yeah, he don't respect you. So, I'm like, no, you're not. I'm not letting no no dude talk to me like that. Nah, he gets up and nah, leaves. Nah, not flexing. You're already letting disrespect you. I was about to chase after you? No, because at the end of the day, you were the one that in the wrong. Like, I'm not about to chase after you after you, after you owe me an apology. 
So I let him leave and then like we didn't talk for like a week. It was a week. I ended up texting Kevin first because I felt like, you know, I'm like he's mad prideful, like I don't know See? issues. Yo. So I was like Hey yo, look, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. She fell into the you fell into the playbook, sis. You fell into the playbook. See what happened was Nigga came through, started that argument. Y'all ain't talk for a week. That's a week of him being able to do dirt without having to worry about you bugging him. Strategy. He strategized, my nigga. That was a strategy. That was part of the playbook. That was part of the plan. You fell into that. And then look, you still went back and started talking to him. Like, let me be the bigger person in Texas first. Like, Fuck being a bigger I person. Hear him up all this stuff. I'm just like, I'm learning this that. Is mad weird. So, like, things are back to normal, but like, I'm asking him to come see me, come spend time with me. He's having all these excuses, like, not making time for me, blah, blah, blah. In the midst of that week, when you don't have that one person that you talk to all the time, you need to find things that are going to occupy your time. So, yeah, I was doing things that were occupying my time. Like, at the time, like, I was. Um, I had started my, my doing makeup on other people, so I felt like I needed to create an Instagram page and promote myself, like, so that's what I started doing, that's what I started focusing on. So, once we started talking again, I think that day I went to go make a, an Instagram page, right? When you have more than one account on your Instagram and you go to switch accounts, whether you're logged in or not, that name is still going to be there, sometimes, unless you get it removed, which... I don't even know. I used to be logged onto his Instagram, but I wasn't logged in at the moment. Like, I wasn't logged in. I don't know how, the name was there. When I went to go switch profiles, like after I created the page, it turned into his page. And I swear to God, I did not purposely go on his Instagram. Nah, you went to through it. His shit. But you, if I freaking tell y'all like, how it. it happened, you wouldn't even believe me. But I know, and that's all that matters. Anyway, so fast forward. End up logging onto his Instagram, end up going to his messages, and he's inboxing bitches. And I was like, I wasn't even, it was, at this point it was about the principal, it wasn't even about the bitches. I'm just like, yo, these bitches is curving you like they don't want you. He's asking bitches to link, like meanwhile, I'm in his phone asking him to come see me, come spend time, do all this stuff, and he's not making no time for me. Like, he freaking asked the girl, um, oh, when are you gonna make time for me, all this stuff. I'm like, yo, this is not even cute. Like, at this point, you look desperate, like, like thirsty. Like, that's fucked up. So that's fucked like, up. A, a thirsty that. nigga ain't, ain't creating oh, no time yeah, for you. Together, blah blah blah. I'm just like whatever. Like I'm still like I've invested my time into this relationship. So I'm just like I'm not brushing it off. I'm upset about it. But he he wants to work things out. So I'm like whatever. Probably she me mad, bro. a week later. Bro, she getting me mad, bro. She getting me mad. Like you keep taking this nigga back. Like what the fuck? I hate that. Sh no, let me let me let me let me stop. I sound like I'm playing for the wrong team, but at the same time, bro, like if you let somebody continue to take advantage of you, you give somebody an inch, they're gonna take a yard. You feel me? Like that's that basically what that weekend, is. We end up going to a barbecue. It's our friend's barbecue. We have mutual friends. The vibe, the energy that I was getting from him was like making me feel uncomfortable. So I got up and left. I went to go link with the next dude because another situation happened that I was uncomfortable with. So I went to go link with the next dude and we were chilling. Okay? Next thing you know, I'm with the dude and he's blowing up my phone. Oh my God. You ever like pick up your phone and like somebody just keeps calling that you can't even like use your phone? Like it was ridiculous. Like it was over. Why do so, we, why do I'm we like, just do that dude, shit? And I'm like, yo, this is embarrassing because like. Like, Excuse he me. probably think, I don't know what he thought of me, but like, I'm with the next dude and you over here calling my phone mad crazy. So, I ended up getting out the car because I'm with the dude, but we're chilling in the car, like, just on some calm, like, late night shit, talking and stuff. I get out the car and he's like, where are you? Mind you, my sister had called me and she's like, where are you? I was like, oh, I'm out, I'm good. Because I guess he must have, he called my sister, like, oh, do you know where your sister is? Like, mind you, I had just was... Me and my sister text all the time when we're both out. So I'm texting her. I'm like, yeah, I'm out of this neighborhood. She's like, oh, all right. But she be like high sometimes. So she don't be paying attention. So she calls me and she's like, where are you? I'm like, I'm out. Why? She's like, oh, he's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm chilling with my friend. <laughs> she's mad high. I was like, we just spoke. Like, why? Why are you asking me? She's like, oh, 
Kevin just called. Like he said, he's worried about you, whatever. I'm like, what? I told hey, him I was good. Like he had. To hey yo, bro, why do we do that? Niggas stay doing that, bro. Niggas be doing all types of dirt. And then as soon as, like, they don't have they they can't talk to their girl and shit, you feel me? You might call her at a certain time that you know she usually pick up. And then, like, she don't pick up. Oh, yeah, she with another nigga. Now you start blowing her shit up, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I went through that phase. I went through that phase when I was in college, bro. Like, you think that you blowing your phone up is gonna, is gonna stop another nigga from penetrating your bitch? No. No. <laughs> it's not gonna stop anything. What? Son. I've been in... Mm, fuck that. I've been... Yeah, I remember one time. Well, this is a few times, but I'm gonna tell y'all this one time. Right? I was with this chick, bro. And, like, I'm in there just... I'm in there drugging her shit. Her, I don't know if that was her boyfriend or her, that was her ex boyfriend. They was they was in the transitional phase. He's just blowing her phone up to the point where she just like started. She answered. So I'm in there just <laughs> niggas like yo, what's that? Yo, what's that? She like I'm watching TV. <laughs> oh my god, son. Crazy shit is, bro, I, I wouldn't even ask my wife, you know what I'm saying, because she was my girlfriend back then, and we did break up, and we had a, we had a situation where I was, I was, you know, karma's a bitch, that's what I'm going to say, karma's a bitch, right? And, like, you know, may, who, who, who's to know if I wasn't blowing her phone up and another nigga was in there drugging her shit, bro? I, I, I'm just saying, you know, we, we all like to be the hero in our stories, but sometimes you got to be real. You got to be honest now. Somebody else was probably drugging her shit while I was blowing, blowing the phone up. I hope it ain't happening right now, though, because you know what I'm saying? Text me, and I was like, I'm good. Like, I'm good. So he's blowing up my phone. I finally get out the car to answer the phone. I'm like, what? He's like, where are you? Like, where are you? Where are you? On the verge of crying. I'm like, I'm out. Nigga, like, spidey senses was tingling. He's like, can you come home? He's like, I'll come pick you up. Like, he knew I was... <laughs> Yeah, he knew. He knew I was with the next yep. dude. Yup, nigga, he Spidey senses was, was tingling. And you know, it's crazy because, like, you could be 100% loyal to a nigga, and they will still turn around and do you dirty time after time after time until you turn around and play their cards. That's exactly what I did. He's, like, calling everybody. Like, my best friend has my location, and she's, like, she t I think she told me the next day. Yeah, he asked me to send you location, all this stuff. Damn, she was going She hard. didn't know what to do because... She was just like, this is not my business. And she never seen him in character like that before. When I tell you this dude was putting on a show, he was putting on a show. Me, I, didn't, I that was like my last draw. Like, I didn't care. It was like probably like 3 o'clock when I got back home. Maybe 2 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock when I got back home. He's like in front of my house. I'm like, what the freak, yo? He's Did like, you get the wood? She might have got some wood in that car too. She might have got some wood in that car too. Wants to get back together, all this stuff. Like I work for the relationship, I work for your trust, all this stuff. I'm not hearing it like at all. I was like, I just want to go inside and go in my bed. When I tell you, I just want to go in my bed. I just want to go. Because the bed. other nigga drugged your shit. So after him huh? begging, he's like telling me that I can't get out the car until I say yes to being getting back with him, and I'm like. Like, so stern on my answer I'm like no I don't want to like I don't feel like going through this like it's exhausting like that that shit is that is exhausting like to put all your energy into something that you didn't even cause is not like exhausting like who wants to deal with that I ended up saying yes right all these are like little like cheating smears not little they're big but like I don't know I guess I'm just dumb as fuck but I ended up saying yes like we could work on yeah. the relationship all Make this fact. stuff you gotta show me what you're gonna bring to the table because I'm not bringing shit and we could probably move forward. So this was like around July-ish. The following week we ended up going on a vacation. It was like a last minute vacation with our friends. And everything is good. It set the tone. There was no fighting. He was being mad, lovable, affectionate, all this stuff. Like we're on vacation. Things is perfect. After coming back from the vacation, we ended up going to Texas because he decides to go to school out there. Mind you, like this relationship we were celibate for two years. I go with him to drop him off, like celibate for two good. years. We were out there. Hey yo, Tom, for... yo, nah. Hey yo, that's how you supposed to start. You supposed to start the video like that. Yeah, me and my boyfriend, um, you know, my boyfriend cheated on me and got another girl pregnant. 
You know what I'm saying? We were Sullivan for two years. What you? Yo, I ain't saying, I mean, I ain't saying it's right that he was cheating on you. But at the same time, y'all being Sullivan wasn't his choice. Right? Let's keep that up. Nah, come on. We not finna do that, son. You, we not finna do that. Now I don't even feel that bad for, 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 for you. It's fucked up, but nah, son. Nah, 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 nah. A week for some event that they were having in Texas, not to drop him up for school. It was out there for like a week. Things is perfect. Celebrate getting all the two attention years. I wanted. Everything that I wanted out of the relationship, I'm finally getting. But he not getting what he want. One day, and we're like, we bought food and stuff, and we was like, let's watch a movie on Netflix, we're in the Airbnb. So we get on the computer, right? Open the computer. I'm looking at stuff on Netflix. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Ding, ding. We, we both write the message. Hey, my period ghosted me. I looked at this nigga. Oh. You got, this gotta be a joke. Somebody is pranking me right now. Oh. I'm like, what do you mean? Her period ghosted her. Nah. He's like, well, who's in the car that night? I told you. I asked if you wanted to know any anything else or whatever, and you said no. I said, nigga, like, I didn't want to hear nothing about you messing with more more girls than there possibly were at that time. Mm. Like, but you sleeping with another girl while we were celibate for two years is on a whole nother level. Like, that don't even make sense. I didn't think nothing of it. Like, you told me, you was the one that told me that you wanted to be celibate. I was just supporting you. So it was his choice? You go and see with the next girl after you said that you wanted to be selling all the stuff. Like, I'm just confused. Wait, just hold, like, on, wait hold on, wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. It was I his was choice? Done. I called my best friend. I was like, this nigga I'm about is my name. pregnant, blah, blah. Mind you, when I go places or whatever, I feel the need to take all my stuff out the suitcase so I can see what I have. I'll put it in the closet. I'll put it in the drawers or whatever. We was there for a whole week. Right my my shit. I'm taking clothes and I'm just... I was, no, I don't know where I was going, but I was getting out of that Airbnb. Don't contact me after this. I don't care if I have to wait at the airport overnight for a next flight. I'm out of here. I didn't want to hear nothing. You like trying to fight me. I swear I was putting my hands on him. Diary of a mad black woman. In my house. <laughs> I was even like crying. Sad. I was pissed because I gave you the opportunity to Come earn clean. a spot in my life. And then here comes this. Mind you, I'm like, when did you sleep with her? He's like, um, that, that he's like night. Tuesday or Wednesday. We stopped talking on Sunday. That whole argument was on a Sunday. I hit you up the follow the next Sunday. He's like, Tuesday or Wednesday. So I'm like, we go a day or two, three days not talking. And it takes you that long to see what the next nah, bitch he already was hitting it. Already halfway out on a relationship before you freaking beg me to stay with you. And then you turn around and do this. And then, like, on top of the circumstances, like, we were celibate, we wasn't doing nothing. So, you turn around and freaking sleep with the next bitch. After two days of us not talking, like, you're really not shit. It all, like, comes down to how it happened. Anyway, so then, let me tell you the fuck she the mad So, I'm like, you. okay, tell her to send her results or whatever, like, send some proof. She sends them. Like, yeah, the, the screenshots look janky, but I'm like, yo, why would she do all of that to freaking, why would she do all that? Like, I just couldn't understand it, so I believe the screenshots. I'm telling him, like, we're not together like you need to find out the results if she's lying or not he's like okay what you mean? i'm in the home one day with my best friend and I, I just happened to text him did you ever find out she was telling the truth yo son i yo no offense no offense right but listen man if you give you gave son mad chances yo the first time uh you know what first time he cheated cool whatever you feel me that you know he giving him that Giving them a chance after that, that's still a long shot. But like, bro, this nigga have been out here going crazy. He he's literally dogging you out, and you still giving them chances. And he got a joint pregnant, or potentially got a joint pregnant, and like, your fucking your resolution would be like, I right, if she not pregnant, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you back. That's what that sound like. Yo, you wildin', like, he was out there hitting that raw. That should have been your first, like, yo, first off, not only was you, you was you out here fucking, you know what I'm saying, going crazy, you was going crazy raw, you was hitting shit raw. Nah, you bugging. I hope, 
I ain't gonna hold you. I hope you let the nigga, the other dude kill. I hope you let son kill. Son you was in the car with, I hope you let him kill, son, because your boyfriend That's a wild boy. Because really at the end of the day, like, if that was me and a dude got me pregnant and you over here treating me like shit, oh, he I would have killed like everybody. So I'm telling him to like, he you check everybody. up on the, the situation, like if she kept the baby, you wouldn't even know because you're not following up. Bitches are dead as trifling like that. I'm telling him to follow up. I think that's when I found out about the um the actual appointment to get the abortion. That shit says abortion medication. And I believe it. Like I ain't never been through no situation like that where I had to get an abortion or got pregnant. My dumb ass gets back together with him. I don't even know. I don't fucking know why I got back with him. Like, I what? Just felt what like the f everything was going so good that she gave, it was yo, possible she gave me to mad. Like, let that go. He turns around and breaks up with me. <gasps> felt like I was already mentally clocked out of the relationship from like the sequence of events that happened with him dealing with other people like I was already like whatever like it's your time to do your job now like I was just there if he got the audacity after she doing me mad time you end up breaking up with me that's pretty much like my story time of how I got cheated on mad times one relationship one dude like and I was basically just pretty much dumb as fuck because like, I, I ain't gonna lie I'm finna Everybody does something done once in their life. Yeah, I'm about to subscribe to her channel. I want to see. But I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Like, I'm not yeah, really good at stories. I did. Hey, man, go subscribe to her. Her name Taylor Love. Hey, yo, first of all, let me tell you something, right? You give somebody an inch, they going to take a yard. They going to take a mile, bro. The more you let people walk over you, the more they going to... That walking is going to turn into trampling. They going to stomp on your shit. So you kind of walk, you kind of walked into that. I ain't gonna lie to you. You kind of walked into that, and it's not like you ugly. You're, you're gorgeous. So really, homie ain't deserve you. He ain't deserve you. Okay. Hopefully you learned your lesson moving forward. And I, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't know. This is how. This is how monsters are created. Like for dudes, if you get a chick that like that violate. Niggas is gonna turn into monsters. Like my best friend is a monster right now, cause his wife did some some goofy shit. Yeah, this is how people violate. Anyway, man, this is the video. Um, damn, that shit was sad. But I hope y'all like the video. Y'all tell me what you think. If you have a story like that, I would love to hear it. If you've been cheated on multiple times, I would love to hear it. All right, squat.